What is up guys, Ali and Adam here. I just enjoyed a really huge breakfast and I'm coming to you guys with a video about soft clipping. So soft clipping in regards to mastering, there's a lot of different uses. I'm just gonna cover mastering in this video. So when you guys hear guys like Moti, any of the EDM acts in the industry where they have really loud tracks, they're squashing the dynamics of the tracks, they're getting it really loud. A lot of times they're using a soft clipper on the master. And so in this video, I'm going to cover why that's important and why you might want to use a soft clipper as well. And so I'm going to play back this new track I'm working on. If you were watching my video on how to create a saw lead like Martin Garrix style, this is pretty much continuing where I took off there. So I made a lot of changes. Let's just jump right into it and play back the project with no added extra gain. This is just FabFilter Pro L default preset just to show you what it sounds like. So you can see there's some areas where we're hitting above uh, 0 dB and that's fine. Keep in mind you're working with 32-bit audio and so there's a lot of headroom even if your track is getting hot and going plus 1, plus 2 that's okay. In fact, there's a lot of misconception that when you're working with plugins that you can't be clipping at all. And that's no, it's not the case. You can be clipping. Um, obviously, you want headroom when you're doing mastering and mixing. But when we're talking about the individual components, it's okay if they're hot here and there. Now, the reason why you want to so uh, use a soft clipper is when we run everything through the master and then into Pro-L or any limiter that you're using, Fruity Limiter, Maximus, it can be dealing with a lot. And as you pump a lot of gain, you'll get a pumping effect. So let's say for instance, I bring up my gain all the way up, however I want, plus four, plus five, you're gonna be getting a lot of pumping potentially or you know distortion. And when you put limiters before, and this is why a lot of producers use multiple limiters, you split the workload amongst the different limiters. So the soft clipper is pretty much like a limiter. It's a limiter, it's a hard limiter, but where it has an advantage is that the soft clipper will tame those transients, will tame those peaks. It will allow the limiter to just deal with a already loud signal, but then boost it just slightly or just catch tiny little hiccups in the audio. And so I will show you now when we jump to our soft clipper. So the soft clipper I'm using for this video, it's called T-Rex uh, Soft Clipper. This is a great soft clipper, very simple, very straightforward. We only have a few uh, buttons on here, so we have the input. So this is just like the gain input on a limiter. This is bumping up the gain, it's bumping up the input into the signal. We have the output, so the output can be adjusted, but usually you're gonna leave that at, at zero or maybe you'll bring it down, so it really depends. But for now, we'll leave it at zero. And then last but not least, this is very important, is the slope. Much like the slope of a compressor, as you bring this towards the left, it's gonna make the signal um, more of a soft curve. So if you want to retain your transients more, if you want to retain the punchiness of your track more, you would want to stay more towards the right as a, a hard, and you can see the image there. As you bring it to the left, it's going to become a softer curve, and that's going to be a louder signal, but at the cost and the con of taking away some of the transients, taking away some of the punchiness of the track. So where we will start, we'll start everything at zero. So zero dB, zero dB. Now let's play it back with T-Rax on and start to increase the input on T-Rax. And we will see the difference now in uh, Pro-L because instead of the signal being hot, it's going to stay at 0 dB. So it looks like going beyond 4 or 5 dB, it starts to enter, you know, really audible distortion. 
And um, the benefit, again, we can see is that when you do that, then we, we go into the final limiter, it's dealing with less. It will have less workload on the limiter. And uh, as a result, you'll be able to tweak with different knobs. So let's say we brought this up slightly or down slightly, and then we could say, hey, plus three or four gain. Allows you to split the workload and get more control on the dynamics of your track. Now let's just show you the effect that it'll have if we adjust the slope. Now you might not have heard a huge difference. Instead, let's just isolate our percussion to here. So you can see that uh, bringing down the slope really kills the punchiness and the dynamics, the transients, they really get muffled, they really get squished. So experiment with this one. I probably would say with EDM and where you want punchiness to really kick through, uh, stay with a slope of zero or maybe you know progress down to maybe minus two, minus three. Find the sweet spot again because you may have to bring down the slope to tame some of the peaks they might not um, get into the soft clipper they might not have sufficient volume to actually get triggered so treat it like a compressor how when you bring down the curve it starts compressing more and more so it's really going to have to be subjective to what you're working with how you've mixed your track you know how hot is the signal coming into the soft clipper but i hope that can give you an idea of how basic it is to use a soft clipper, how simple it can be, and how useful it can be to pair it up with a, a limiter at the end because then you can really get some power over your final sound, the loudness, and if you're trying to hit a certain RMS like minus seven, minus six, even minus five, ridiculously loud, um, you're definitely gonna want to go to something like the soft clipper. So guys, I hope you like this video. I'm really pumped to finish this new song that I'm working on. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. I'm curious to know uh, your thoughts, your comments. Uh, let me know of any other plugins you'd like for me to check out. I really love this uh, soft clipper and I've watched other videos on soft clippers, but um, it looks like this one is a industry standard. So it's a fantastic plugin. Make sure you guys are subscribed. More content is coming in the future. Keep making them gains. And I'll see you guys in the next video.